Howdy folks, welcome back to Faded Paint Garage. So this is uh, the McCullough Chainsaw Episode 2. Um, in the first episode I kind of explained how I came across acquiring all these saws to this point. And then we were able to get the 610 there to fire off. I've ordered a carb kit for that. So it's not getting fuel, so I ordered a carb kit, um, fuel line, fuel filter to see if we can resolve that issue. So today, I think we're going to tinker on the 143 and uh, see if it'll we can get it to bark off. So the first thing I will do is see if it has sparks. So I'll just pull the spark plug out, um, connect it to the boot, ground it to the block, and then pull it over and see if we can uh, see if we can watch the spark plug in action. All right, we got the 143 on the bench. Um, I don't know anything about this saw, so bear with me as we work through it. So, spark plug appears to be, you can see that under this boot here. I think it should be under there to, on that. So, I don't see, I don't know if a guy's just supposed to be able to pop this cover off or not, but it doesn't really feel that way. So, we'll... Uh, Okay, yeah, I see, so that slides in there, so there's not really, not supposed to be able to pop that off, apparently, just to cap protect it, so that's good. That all feels good. All right, we've got the coil, we've got ourselves a spark plug, let's pop that guy off. Pull that plug out of there. Okay, so I got the spark plug out. I'm gonna hook it back to the boot. Um, I got this little cap thing here to kind of pop out and just spin over. So that's gonna allow me to set this back down on here. Get it to line up correctly. Come on, there we go. Okay, so now we're gonna ground that out. And we're gonna crank her over. Make sure it's in run, I guess. Huh? Get it. Do everything here, and then ground it at the same time. Okay, yeah, we got spark. Yep, got good spark, so that's a good start. So what I'm gonna do also clean that up. I'm gonna we'll just pour a little fuel in the cylinder. That will help lubricate it if it needs to um, and uh, give us a head start on trying to see if it will run. I need to also go dump the fuel out of it. There's some old fuel left in it. Take that. That should be plenty. Squirt that down in there. Turn it over a couple times. Let it coat everything well. I don't know if that really would make much difference, but Oops. carried away there, I guess. That one's nice and tight, but this one acts like it needs to go. Maybe it's broken. I don't know, it's lost its tension. I'm thinking that spring's probably no good yeah don't worry about that later okay so we'll get the spark plug stuck back in there to figure out where i put it oh there it is i guess i could have checked the gap but it looked like a brand new plug okay that done and that done. Put our cover back on. 
stick this back in here. That thing's getting hard as a rock, which shouldn't be a surprise, I guess, for its age. Okay, compression again there. So I need to, well, I need to replace this screw, but I guess it'll work for now. That looks like a wood screw that ran in there, so really too bad when people lose screws and then they just find something that's close rather than the right thing and cause a lot of damage doing that. I don't recommend it. Okay, cover's on. Let me tighten this down best I can. Okay, let's take a look under here, see what we got going on. Filter looks pretty good. Still plywood, which is good. All right. Don't know what I'm looking at. I mean, it's a carburetor, but I've never been into one of these, so. Oh, that's funny. So that's the choke. Just comes in and covers that. How does that? There's like a little knob thing here. Is it supposed to turn? Yeah, turns and locks in place to lock in the choke. <laughs> that's funny. That works. And then this must be the oiler. Must have, yeah, I can hear it pumping. So that must be the manual oiler, I guess, right? Not throttle. It's bottle lock. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I really don't know much about these saws. You guys that do are probably cringing listening to me, but I gotta start somewhere, right? We're not all born with all the knowledge. Okay, so this all looks fine. I mean it's not as clean as one would want it to be, but I think good enough for our purpose. Um so I'm going to go dump this fuel tank out real fast. It has bar oil in it too. I will uh, oh, it's got a little vent right there. It'll, that's good. Um, I'm going to go dump this number right back. Uh, the fuel tank's got quite a bit of junk in it. Looks like mostly sawdust. Um, so I think for now we'll just pour some fuel down the throat and see if we can just get it to start that way rather than pulling in a bunch of junk from a fuel tank it probably needs to be cleaned out so we will give that a try just squirt it down in there see what that does let's uh go out to the floor so I don't uh, do anything silly here. All right, let's see what it'll do. If we can make it pop off. So we've got the in-run position. Jeez. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Well, that wasn't very exciting, I guess. She runs. Again, I don't think I want to put fuel in there and keep running it. It, I'd rather clean that tank out really good before doing that. Um, now let's see if she'll bark one more time just for giggles. Well, that is awesome. Super tickled about that. Sounds good. Well, I like that. That sounds awesome. Uh, cover screw fell out, one of the crap ones, so... Um, 
This one here looks like it's got a lot of the same stuff in that regard. Um, we might scavenge something off that. I don't know. Heck, since we're into it, let's see if that one here has spark. I didn't expect this to be that easy, so let's see if we can get two running today. So this one here has been painted, I don't know, I would say recently, but it has been. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, I'd rather it hadn't been. I like the, you know, I'm, you call it patina, but I just like them as original as possible. Um, little different model. It's got, looks like the oilers over here rather than back here on that other one. Again, I don't know anything about these saws, so bear with me, but we've got a 1-40 here, and that's stamped 2000 something. Um, I mean, it looks nice. This is in better shape than the other one, as far as that goes. It's This thing's not broke off. All the screws actually look, they're correct, I would say. I, I mean, they all match, so I think that's a reasonable guess. So spark plugs out here so we don't need to take that cover off to do our check so let's pull that off it's got a looks like a new spark plug in it for what that's worth and it's been run since the new spark plugs put in it so that is a good sign See how it turns over without the plug in it. Yeah, it's got a good pull to it, even with the plug out. No. Kind of suspiciously hard to pull, but I don't know anything about these saws, so maybe that's normal. So let's check for sparkage. I guess that's in the run position. Oh, yeah, it is. I can see that it is in the run position, so we'll. See if we can get a good spot to ground this here. See if I can not shock myself. Well, that's hard to pull. Oh, got spark. Woo! -hoo. Awesome. So we'll do the same thing. We'll pour a little fuel in this guy. And one thing I noticed earlier, I don't know if it's the case or not, but I couldn't spin the chain. Yeah, I think I need to pull the before we actually try to fire it up, I need to see why that's not spinning over. I had this bar off in the last episode, thinking it might fit on that six, that whatever that other one is, a one six or like ten. I don't know, I'm losing track. Too many numbers. Anyway, I tried to put this bar on that other saw I started last episode, and it's all wrong. So that why, that's why it was off. So maybe I didn't put this back on correctly. We will check that in a minute. So let me go grab my fuel. I'll throw a little down there like last time. Let me wipe that off so I'm not washing any garbage down in there on accident. We'll turn it over a little bit. Put the plug back in. Man, that's going to be so awesome if this thing runs too. I just kind of thought because I bought them together, this one might have been a part saw, but maybe not. So let me get a sock to take that off. Oh, we need to look in there too, just to see what we got. So I'm guessing this is an older saw. Spark plug's not protected. Chain's a little... Oh, it just looks... Maybe it's just me, but... It just looks like a heavier chain. But maybe it's this wider bar that makes it look different. I don't know. Okay, wiggle that off. Let's see, okay, we are... 
Okay, it does turn, so we're not locked up or nothing. So I don't know why this was not moving when the cover's on. That, I mean, it could use oil. It's dry as a bone. It could just be simply that. But the main thing is we don't have any problems here. So let's uh, see if I can wrangle this back together. Oh, we got some JB Weld here, which is okay. Oh, that's cute. So they've just patched this whole cover. Boy, somebody actually took some time to do that. I. That's not bad. I mean, for just a wall hanger occasional use, that don't hurt my feelings. They did a nice job, actually. So maybe somebody's put some work into this guy. It wouldn't hurt my feelings. Oh, it's got, like, fuel line. Like, regular automotive fuel line. That's interesting. Not like a chainsaw fuel line. Or has that got something to do with the oiler? Now that's got to be fuel. Huh. Funny. Again, I don't know anything about these saws. I keep harping on that, but I don't want you guys to think I'm an idiot. You don't know what you don't know, right? It ain't my fault. Well, it is. I don't know, but I'm, I'm learning. So is it simply that it's just too tight? I don't know. Let's... Put it back on there and give it a heave ho on the turn in it. I could always loosen the chain up a little bit that way. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. Okay, so we're good there, so. I think we're all right. Let me see how this goes as I tighten it. Make sure it's not something binding as I'm tightening it. So yeah, it's locked up now. Like that. Well, maybe not. Can I see in there? Yeah, maybe we're all right. Just don't want to do any damage on accident, so okay, so that should be fine. It's good enough to try to start it anyway. So let's take a peek in here. See what we see. Filter looks good. Well no it I don't know. It's a weird looking filter. I assume it's alright. Okay, so this has got a little different choke on it. So instead of that big cone thing coming in, it's got a regular choke valve in there and I don't see there's any difference between that go throttle lock okay yeah that fuel line's funny I wouldn't expect that this looks pretty good too I mean a little bit of whatever but nothing concerns me let's take a peek in here it's got a little fuel residue in there Got a clear fuel line in here. It's a real small clear one. I don't know what that is. And then the other one, the pickup. So I wonder what that other one does. I don't. Hmm. Yeah, it's got it's got enough fuel covering the filter up. So I'm gonna again go and dump that out for the same reasons. I don't want to suck up anything on accident. That's looking good. I mean, cosmetically, it has spark. Those are all things you want to check off your list. Huh? It's interesting. These are like aluminum. Nice little light cover. Oh, I'll leave this off so I can put fuel. In. That's right. Okay, we'll go move and see if we can get this one to fire up.
Alrighty, we'll put a little fuel in the carburetor here. See what happens. Holy moly. I have to start this the old fashioned way. Holy moly. She runs. I'll be darned. Boy, that's uh, that thing's got some compression to it. That's awesome. Holy moly! Let me run her a little bit more, but that is awesome. Well, I am tickled. Holy moly! That is just fantastic. So three for three so far. Uh, <laughs> we could try that little one today. That's the one that, I don't know if that's a Mini Mac or what they would consider the Mini Mac class. Uh, it might be newer than that, but I've heard those are throwaway saws from what I've looked up since getting these. So we could just for fun try to start it just so I at least have a failure. Not that I want a failure, but uh, it's just, it's, that's crazy. So. Um, let's take a look at that one. Now, I don't necessarily care if this one runs, but it's, I don't really have a use for a saw like this, but we'll take a look. It does turn over, if I remember right. Yeah, it feels like it's got compression. Um, carburetor got a choke here, adjustment screws. Stop this down so we don't want that. Put that to the top. Don't know where the spark plug is. I'm going to guess it's under here. Oh, nope, it's on the back here. Let's see if I can wiggle that out of there without tearing it up. Easiest to do here, maybe pop it up with a screwdriver. I'm always nervous about tearing these apart. There we go. That came out right. Smaller plugs. Let's give it a wrench for that. Doesn't even look like it was tight. Steel wrench will fit that or not. Nope. That's a tight fit down in there. Get a socket in there. Don't. Oh, it didn't even tight. Yeah. That works, I guess. Boy, she's actually got some. She got some hours on her. It is the right size, but boy, it don't want to fit on there very well. We got something else that might work better. Use this metric saw, I think, to put that back in there. Okay, so boy, it ain't got a very good gap on it. I mean, it's tight. I have suspicions that that might not be right. Let me, uh, let me go see if I can find specs on that real fast. That thing's just smashed real tight, so I'll be right back. 
Yeah, my suspicions are right. So that's supposed to be at uh, 0.25 and we're not quite there. So, Oh, actually, it's not bad. It's a little tight, but not, not terrible. Uh, I'm going to go wire wheel that real fast. Okay, we've got our plug cleaned up good. So let's see if we can do the ground test on this. See if these bolts here are ground or not. They're grounded. But I can't tell. I swear I'm seeing something, but not super bright. Yeah, it's got spark. Yeah, well, off to a good start at least. So we'll do the same thing with this. This one's dirty, but that's what they're for, right? I'm supposed to use them. Probably should have blew this one out before I even pulled the spark plug out of it, but oh well. Fuel in in there. Plug back in. See if we can tighten it this time. Since somebody didn't before. But usually these things end up at the sale. A lot of times because they don't run anymore. So chances are somebody was already working on it. But I don't know. Let's see if we can go four for four. But I ain't holding my breath. Okay, we got fuel in there. We got spark now how do i access the carburetor on this guy air air filter rather i don't know well for giggles we could see if that fires over with that just that little bit of gas i put in there let's uh give that a try <clears throat> Four for four. Well, I'll be darned. Now, like I said, I'm not too worried about this guy, but um, it's, geez, it's full of fuel. Let me smell it. Don't smell that bad. Let's, uh, yeah, let's see if it'll run, run, like stay running. That'd be hilarious. So let's see, we won't choke on probably. Throttle lock here. I don't. This has got funny controls on. There's a button here. Some kind of. That must be a oiler. I don't know what's going on here. Some kind of double trigger. What? What is that? It must be a safety thing. But I would have thought this is. There we go. Okay. Not again, not that I'm too concerned. The fact that it fired off at all is fine with me, but if we could by chance get it to run, that'd be pretty cool. That chain so loose is about to frighten me though. I don't know if I want that spinning around like that very really bad anyway. Um, well, let's try it without a choke. We're not getting nothing, but again, who who knows? Who cares? We could, for fun, pull the plug out again and give it a little more. I wonder, I guess if we get the air filter, but maybe it's just right here or something. We can just pour gas in, the, gas in it that way.
I'm not sure what's going on here. I only see one screw, but it makes me wonder if this one's supposed to come out. And then the cover slides or something. Oh, it, boy, that's, that's cute. Didn't need to choke. She's already choking. Okay, well. Interesting. This is, huh, like a rubber diaphragm thing in here. That's clever. Okay, well, let's pour some fuel in her. See what happens. Definitely runs. Huh, that's pretty cool. She ain't pulling fuel, but it's a runner, so that's pretty awesome. I'll go blow that out before I put it back on there, just because that's really bad. But otherwise, I said I don't know if I have a use for this guy, but uh, it's kind of cute. The fact it runs definitely uh, helps. So, well, I guess that's it for today. That was pretty awesome. Four for four for use saws. Um, can't beat that. Um, so I talked to my friend about that 125 and his suspect was the points are bad or needed adjusted. So I'm going to guess that when we do a spark test on that guy, we're not going to have any, but, uh, that'll probably be maybe the next episode is tinker on that, that, that big saw. So, um, thanks for watching. We'll uh, catch you next time.